Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. As usual, before we start our lesson, kita ni akan mulakan dengan berselawat ke atas Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam selama dua minit. Mari kita ni sama-sama membaca tiga niat penting sebelum memulakan selawat ke atas Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yang pertama, kami niatkan selawat kami untuk memenuhi perintah Allah Subhanahu wa taala. Yang kedua, kami niatkan selawat kami untuk memenuhi hak Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam dan yang ketiga, kami niatkan selawat kami untuk mendapat syafaat Rasulullah di akhirat kelak. 2 minutes from now. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad 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 محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال 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 محمد محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد دعاء sebelum belajar بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Allahumma ftah alayna hikmataka wanshur alayna min hazaini rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin Ya Allah, bukakanlah ke atas kami hikmat-hikmatmu dan limpahilah ke atas kami khazanah rahmatmu Wahai yang maha permurah lagi maha penyayang. Rabbish rahli ya sadri wa yassir li amri wahlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli Ya Rabku, lapangkanlah untukku dadaku dan mudahkanlah untukku urusanku dan Lepaskanlah kekakuan dari lidahku Supaya mereka mengerti perkataanku Amin Amin, amin, amin Ya Rabbul Alamin In this session we will discuss about Constructing simple linear equation So can you please get ready with your notes Page 41 and 42 And your worksheet page 36 and 37 Now, what will be our LO for this lesson? By the end of the lesson, students should be able to First, both of our objective is about constructing simple linear equation But in here, the first one, you're able to Construct simple linear equation Involving rational coefficient and constants 
a non on one side only and you're able to construct linear equation uh, regarding integer coefficient and constants a non on one or both sides to express a non number problems arising from practical situation now here will be our steps to success s to s to achieve our lo learning objectives first read the question carefully and circle key information second use a letter to represent a non numerical value and letter in algebra we call it variable okay a letter letter in algebra we call it variables and this letter is used in algebra to represent that a non numerical value and last one you need to construct simple linear equation to answer the question let us recap what is actually linear equation previously in year 7 we already learned about this topic and here we just recap what is actually linear equation a linear equation in one variable is an equation of the form of this one ax plus b equal to c a b c should be a real numbers and a shouldn't be zero okay a shouldn't be zero and this x will be the variable okay this x will be variable that letter representing the unknown numerical value Now, example 12, write the following statement in the form of equation. The first one, A, the difference of a number and 12 is 36. Remember, in word problems, not only in algebra, when you see is in the statement, this is actually representing equal sign. Okay, and the next of it will be always the answer. All right? And here will be the key operation, difference, difference mean minus. And now you can see here a number. So this one will be the a non-numerical value. So you need to choose a letter to represent this number. And that letters in algebra, we call it variables. Okay. Now let us answer this part A. Your answer should be N minus 12 equal to 36 here i choose n to represent this a non-numerical value okay moving on with part b the product of minus 12 and a number is 48 circle the key information is and here will be the answer and here will be the variables and then the product will be the key information minus 12 means negative 12 okay and your answer should be minus 12 n equal to 48 next part c a number increased by 5 is equal to 104 now it is obviously written here equal to so here will be equal sign here and this 104 will be the answer now, a number, okay, this is the a non numerical value. Choose any letter to represent this number. And still here, I will choose N to the rest of our questions. And it increased by 5. When we say increase, that means plus, okay, plus. And your answer should be this one N plus 5 equal to 104. Next, part D, the sum of minus 7 and a number is equal to 22. Again, the first thing that you need to do is to circle, to underline the keywords. Is Here will be the keywords. And equal to 22 will be the answer. A number is the variable. So, sum is the key key operation sum means plus okay so the sum of minus 7 negative 7 and a number is equal to 22 therefore the answer will be negative 7 plus n equal to 22
moving on with part A, 9 squared plus a number equal to 110. And 9 squared mean 9 to the power of 2. Plus mean 8. A number, change this number uh, with any letters to represent this number. Equal to is equal sign. And your answer should be 9 squared plus n equal to 110. Last part for example 12. The quotient of a number n5 is 33. This is the answer. The quotient. Quotient mean divide. So here you need to know which one is the dividend and which one is the divisor. A number will be the dividends, the numerator. Dividends mean numerator. And divisor will be the denominator. Okay. Therefore, your answer will be n divided by 5 equal to 33. Okay. Proceed with example 13. An apartment complex charge $460 per month in rent plus a $200 annual maintenance fee. Write an equation representing the year's cost. Year's, year's cost here represent by C. C will be the variable. So you need to use the variable given in the questions. For M, M representing months. Okay. Now, circle or underline all the keywords. And here you need to write an equation representing the year's cost. And per month, per month you will, per month the rent will be 460. So 460, we multiply by M. M is representing the months. Okay, and be careful here. This 200 is only annual maintenance. That means it is once in a year. All right. And how, uh, what will be the equation? It will be like this. C, the year's cost, equal to 460 times with number of months plus 200 because 200 is only once a year. Okay. And your answer will be C equal to 460M plus 200. Now, example 14. Raj is X years old. Sam is twice as old as Raj. Tina is two years younger than Raj. The total of their ages is 58 years. Form an equation. If the question just asks you to form an equation, so you just stop up to forming the equation. But if the question asks you to solve or to find the unknown numerical value, so you need to solve that equation, okay? And usually in exam, usually in exam, the question always asks you to solve the equation until solving the equation, okay? Now, let us extract information from this statement. Raj is X years old. Sam's is twice as old as Raj. As Raj. So, 2X. Tina is 2 years younger. When we say younger, younger. So, that means Tina will be X minus 2. And then, the total. When we say total, that means we plus all of them. Just follow the sign. Although, here we have X minus 2. Just follow the sign. And it will be like this, all right? And this part, on your left-hand side, you collecting all like terms. So, it will be like this. 4x minus 2 equal to 58. And the answer will be 4x minus 2 equal to 48. Stop up to here. Because the question only asks you to form an equation. Next. Example 15, the perimeter of this regular, when we said regular, that means all sides are equal. Okay, when we say regular, that means all sides are equal. And when we say hexagon, 
hexagon will have six sides. Okay, hexagon will have six sides. And the perimeter of this regular hexagon will be 108. And here you are asked to form an equation. So, as you know that regular means all sides are equal. So, each of these sides will be x plus 7. This x plus 7 repeated by 6 times. Okay? And you can write the equation like this. 6, why? Because we have 6 sides. 6 bracket x plus 7. And the total of this perimeter will be 108. And this 108 will be the perimeter. Okay? You can expand this. Use expansion. Sorry. Use expansion. So, 6x plus 42 will equal to 108. And stop up to here because the question only asks to form an equation. Right? Therefore, your final answer will be 6x plus 42 equal to 108. The last example before we stop. Andrew has X suite, Bob has seven more suites than Andrew. Charlie has twice as many as suites as Bob. The total number of suites is 89. Form an equation about the total number of suites. Okay, now, your first step, you change this statement into algebra. You pull out. The key information from each of these statements. The first one, Andrew has X suites, so Andrew will be X. Bob, ah, one more thing. You cannot use any alphabet here because it is stated X here. Okay, so X will be the variable. X will be the letter that representing the, the numerical, the unknown numerical value. So you cannot use A, you cannot use B. You cannot use any letter. You must use X here. Okay? You must use X here. Now, moving on. Bob has seven more suites than Andrew. So, it will be like this. X plus seven. Charlie has twice as many as suites as Bob. So, two times of Bob. Charlie, Charlie's suites will be two times of Bob suites. And then the total will be 89. So you add them all, form an equation. You should get this. And then collecting all the like terms, you can expand the bracket here. You remove the bracket. You expand this one and you should get to x plus 14 plus x plus 7 plus x equal to 89. You, you do the collecting like term here. You collect all the like terms. Here will be, we have two group here, x and the whole number. So you should get 4x plus 21 equal to 89. So stop up to here and this will be your final answer. And the answer will be 4x plus 21 equal to 89. Alright. Okay. I will stop up to here. And don't forget to complete your notes and your worksheet. As usual, we will end our session by resetting doa. Thank you so much and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Doa selepas belajar. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma inni astaudi'uka ma'alam tani farduthu ilayya indaha jati ilayhi wala tansani 
Ya Rabbal Alamin Ya Allah Sesungguhnya aku menitipkan padamu ilmu-ilmu yang telah engkau ajarkan kepadaku dan kembalikanlah kepadaku sewaktu aku memerlukannya kembali dan janganlah engkau lupakan aku kepada ilmu itu wahai Tuhan yang memiliki semesta alam amin